So what is VA math? VA math is not like normal math. It is complicated. And the way VA figures out your rating disability is basically what part of your body is able to work versus what part is disabled. Because at the end of the day, the compensation you're receiving is based off of the parts that are not able to work. So let's say if you had a 20% disability for a shoulder injury, well, that means that 80% of your body is still able to work. So any additional ratings would be taken from that 80%. When you're figuring out your ratings, you always start with the largest rating and work your way down. So you start at 100% and let's say you get a 50% rating for PTSD. Well, then 50% is left over of your able body. Then you add in that 20% for the shoulder. Well, then of that 50%, you take a percentage of that 20% to get a new percentage. So it's very complicated. Um, and you would think 50% for PTSD and 30% for migraines would equal 80%. But in actuality, based on the conversions that I briefly discuss, it would actually be 65%. And what's important with VA math is that VA rounds by the nearest 10. So if you have 65, that means you round up to 70. So when you have a 70%, and then you get another rating for 20% and you're confused as to why your rating didn't go up, it's because it's being, rate, it's being based off of that 65%. So that goes for anything. If you have 94%, which a lot of people get stuck at 94, 93, 92, because you only have 10% left of you that is able to work. So then it makes it even harder to get to 100%. That is how those calculations are made. So the most important things of VA math is start with the largest number. You work with the largest rating down. So basically you start 100%. You are able to work. You have no disabilities. Then you add in a 40% disability. So from that 100%, you're taking 40%. And then what's left over is your remaining able body. So from that percent, if you add in a new percent, let's say 20, you're taking a percent, uh, you're taking 20% of your remaining able body percentage. There are a lot of um, charts online. I know that we have a blog which shows you how to do this math and it may be easier to see than to be explained. Um, but basically the overall gist is that VA math is not normal math. I get questions every day. I had 70% for PTSD and 30% for migraines. Why don't I have a hundred percent rating? Well, that is why, because every time you have a disability, your percentage of that new added disability is being taken from your able body. And if you're taking a percentage of a smaller number, it's going to be even harder to get to that 100%.